follicular adenoma. There are so many diseases related to the thyroid gland. It can be infectious or any one type of autoimmune condition or benign lesion or malignant condition. So what is the difference between benign and malignant? So when I say benign means there is a possibility that this particular lesion can turn into malignant. So what is the possibility? 1 to 3 percentage. So when I say follicular adenoma, it comes under one of the benign conditions related to the thyroid gland. Now this can affect any age group and more so it is common in females. And this benign lesion is completely covered, it is encapsulated. Now, if you ask me what is the reason for it, what is the etiology, what is the cause of follicular adenoma, there is no known scientific cause related to this. They say maybe it is because of genetic mutation. Coming to the complaints, generally the patients, they are asymptomatic. They don't have any complaints at all. It will so happen that they come to us for some ENT related problem. So when we examine the neck, there is a thyroid swelling and a thyroid nodule. And when we examine and the report comes as maybe it is follicular adenoma. So in short, no specific complaint. Some of the patients, they come to us saying there is a neck swelling related to the thyroid region. Please do investigate and find out what is this condition about? What is this condition? So on examination, thyroid line, there will be swelling like this. We will do a blood test to start with, thyroid function test, T3, T4, TSH, we will turn out to be normal. Now, when you do an ultrasonography scan, like how we have shown in the diagram before, there will be a nodule and we will like to take few cells out of it by doing a fine needle aspiration, send it for histopathological examination. And that report will come as any one type of follicular adenoma, but they will not be able to differentiate whether it is a, they will not be able to tell for, tell to us for sure that this is follicular adenoma and this is not follicular carcinoma. They cannot differentiate level. So usually to know it is follicular carcinoma, which is a malignant condition, the treatment for that is totally different. To know that what happens, we need two important things. One is that lesion usually it has a vascular invasion and it uh, invades the capsule, which you cannot make out in a by doing a FNAC. So what we do, our main concern is whether this is carcinoma or not. That's what we are worried. So the treatment as far as the follicular uh, adenoma is concerned, that particular part of thyroid will be removed. That is partial thyroidectomy. But before doing that, we will tell the patient that suppose it turns out to be follicular carcinoma, we have to remove the other part of thyroid gland also, means a completion thyroidectomy need to be done. So after partial thyroidectomy, when the report uh, turns out to be follicular adenoma, then there is no further treatment, that's it. So to summarize, follicular adenoma is a benign condition, the patient will not know he will be as he or she will be, she will be asymptomatic and no complaints at all. Investigations are very simple. Treatment is removal of that particular part of the thyroid gland, partial thyroid activity. Thank you so much.